Hello everyone, welcome back um, to the Germany campaign in Hearts of Iron 3, their finest hour. Did I mention I was playing with their, their finest hour? I don't remember if I did. Anyway, when we last left off... Um, okay, we got that army group. Obi Vest. We're gonna take one core, we're gonna move it up to Kiel. And I think we're going to... Yeah, we already marked off this little area. Because we're going to invade Yugoslavia. Uh, did we set a marker? And all these little... Uh, points. So they just uh, uh, declared the shame of defeat. Don't care. Okay, let's get some interceptors here. So we're gonna do uh, air intercept for pretty much just this en entire space. There's only three strategic bombers. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What's this? A panzer, another panzer division that's full five cores. We can attach this to an open army. Third army. Okay. Nuclear research, isotope separation. Okay, well that's ahead of schedule. We can't... Nah, we don't need that just yet. Are all five... Yep. So bombers, this is done. We're gonna wait till these all uh, reorganize and whatnot. Oop, that's done as well. We're gonna take this. Okay. Declare limited war in Norway. Now we're gonna take one, put them here. One, put them here. One from here. Okay. Then we're all gonna attack Oslo, because once you take Oslo, everything's done. There we go. So we pretty much annex Norway. Norway's not in the game anymore. Yeah, Norway's not even in the Allies, because they're... Yeah. They're gone. Supply production is done. So yeah, Norway's not a big deal to take out. Just go boom, and you're done. Then rebase to Kiel. Okay, are you ready for this? We're gonna declare limited war. We're gonna acquire territory. Yugoslavia, this will annex them as well. So even if all of our allies join in, which they shouldn't. Yeah, they're not joining in, which is a grit, which is good. Um, they will. <sighs> um, they won't get any land. We're gonna build some more Panzers. We're not building heavy armor. Heavy armor just eats up supplies and are so slow. We got this set to blitzing stance, right? Yeah. Uh, nope. Don't care. I wish it could repair him. I mean, not like I would use him anyway. I just, I wish it could repair him. Air intercept. That's what we're gonna do. All of our German territory. We don't care about France as much. France can go die for all I care. So then we're going to start engaging them, and then we're also going to have this one set to air intercept as well. This is also going to be all of our German territory.
the fate of France. Um, I have other things in mind for France. <laughs> France already fell, bro. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we're we're really ahead of schedule on everything. The invasion of Norway and all this stuff. Yeah, we're way ahead of schedule. That didn't happen until 1940. So we have an entire year to prep for the invasion of the Soviet Union. Also, let's just check out our Indochina territory, which we got from France. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Japan looks nice. We're not going to call them arms yet. It's just a one-man war here. I want the uh, accolade of being the uh, sing single-handedly defeating all of these countries. Not receiving any aid from them whatsoever. And also something in industry. This, yes. Should speed up our techs nicely. Okay. Um, where is this? We can take off. Lujbanja. I can't pronounce that. Lujbanja? I don't know. But yes, very soon they will fall. Ooh. To the crushing weight of the axis. Okay, more men. How many men do we have under the, uh... What? Okay. Oh, there's only... Hmm. Not as many as I previously thought. A little disappointing because we need more. We need as me uh, we need as much uh, manpower as we can muster for the invasion of the Soviet Union. Uh, speaking, uh, we're just going to build some infantry divisions now. Can we add a oracle? So, uh, if you go to the region map mode, you can. All, see that right there uh, in the little pop-up that just popped up right here? This is all part of Yugoslavia, the region. So, yeah, when I added the Yugoslavia war goal, that's what I'm taking. I'm taking everything that's labeled as Yugoslavia, which is everything. So I don't need to add another war goal. I'm just going to add conquer to, my, to it, just in case. Just in case, because you never know. Also, let's add another war goal for the UK. Um, Singapore. We don't want the Japanese getting anything out of that. We want it all for ourselves because we're greedy little Germany. Sarajevo's ours. So now, Biograd and Skopa. Skop? Is this a strategic bomber or a tactical bomber? This is a tactical bomber. And I don't think we have a tactical group open. No, I don't think we do. This is the only... So we're going to have to create another air wing. Um, another tactical bomber. Put that at the top. Keep those practicals going. Cargo hold advance. Advanced aircraft design. We still need more radar in order to get the next iterations. Okay. I'll hold on a second. I am back. Okay, so we annexed. Yugoslavia, and we get this little nice event called Independent Croatia. It really doesn't do anything, but you get to create Croatia and all, so that's fun. Troops in foreign territory. Eh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so Berlin HQ, we're gonna give Berlin, the Berlin HQ back all this land. And we're gonna prepare for Operation Barbarossa, which probably isn't going to happen this episode, we're just going to prep for it. So 
So if you look at the HQ map mode, yeah, we got this little thin line there. So this OB West is going to be put in a defensive stance. Uh, major ports. Um, oh wait, uh, Berlin HQ should get Norway as well, because we don't care about Norway, screw Norway. Uh, so, OB West, stop for a second. Okay, now I can do this. Defensive stance on all the major ports. These guys are blitzing stance, and we're going to put them all on these victory points. Sevastopol, Odessa. Stalingrad. Uh, for the longest time, I couldn't find where Stalingrad was on this map. And uh, Moscow, and uh, Leningrad, and let's put Archangel on there. Uh, Kazan. This. Yeah, we're all good. Okay. Um. So we got this done. Oh yeah, we need to start making our other a new carrier. And a new light cruiser. Put that at the top and more panzers. Why not? It's gonna move these up to the front lines a bit. Croatia is mobilizing. We're gonna put them in the loads or woods. Woods. Something like that. Let's check our, our infrastructure. Uh, we got a new fighter core. Oh wait, hold on a second. Um, these two go together. This is the the fourth flyer core, because flieger means flyer. Large fuel tank. Wonderful, wonderful. For engine airframe and bombers. Oh, but now we're in 1940, so we can get mechanized. We need mechanized. We need these techs for sure. Um, these techs for sure. These techs. Um, yeah, this is at the top, just making sure. Okay, we're all good. And while we're at it, let's just increase our officer count. Yeah, we're right in there. I mean, la oh, lack of troops. Lack of troops? Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, once we get more men deployed to the front, we'll be good. See, we're getting more men. Bulgaria, yeah. We want Romania, Bulgaria, and Hungary all in the all in the Axis. A Jacko. Oh. Oh, let's call Italy. In. In fact, let's call all of our allies and let's just get some diplomat points. Okay, that should be good enough. So, for all of the Axis, call Croatia, call Ethiopia, 
call Japan. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna ask, and we're not gonna ask Italy to take care of that. Civil defense. Okay, that's done. Radar advance, lovely. And now we can get all these radar techs for fighters and bombers. Oh, uh, what is this? We have more panzers. Excellent. Ah, uh, we need a new army. The first army group, nope, not the first army group, the second army group under Rommel. Yeah. Superior firepower. Excellent, excellent. Um, we're going to delete these last five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. And now that you have another one, we're going to put in our self-propelled artillery, and we're going to put in an engineer here. So we're going to need five more. Greece? Oh, Greece declared war on us. Uh, okay, we're going to add Wargle, acquire territory. Greece from Greece. But the thing is, is that if you look at the region map mode, that is not Greece. And... The rest of it's Greece, so yeah. Oh wait, uh, also this is in Greece right here. That's the Salonika region. Right there. So we need to get Salonika. So we may not at all fight at all in Greece, but we are definitely going to annex them 100%. Oh yes, lovely. More strategic bombers. Wunderbar. It's okay, they're gonna take Italy's gonna take care of it. The Finnish Winter War is happening. We only have six hundred thirty four thousand men. Not that great. Actually hold on a second, let's just move this guy up here. I don't like the fact that he's all the way back here. And let's move this army guy. Small arms is done. Oh, beautiful. Ah, and we have a leadership uh, officer's back up at 140%. Great. Ah, what's this? Yes! Infantry support weapons. Excellent. Excellent. We can add a goal on March 2nd. One... Second, okay, we're gonna acquire territory Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia, and then we're gonna add the Salonika region, and then we're, we'll, we'll be good. Now we can put this back on the blitzing stance. I have to re add all these goal, uh, goals. Let's put Moscow, Leningrad, and Stalingrad up there. Light artillery, infantry, anti tank, beautiful, beautiful. A light tank engine. Reliability. Armor. That's here where it's fine. Seriously, Italy, take care of Greece already. More Panzers in Warsaw. Medium tank armor. Oh. This is looking fantastic. I do have a fighter. I don't have a fighter being produced. Or interceptor. Infrastructure looking beautiful. Everything's just going splendidly.
can we add another Orgel? When when the second of April, which is very soon. And then we cal we shall completely annex them. Mechanized offensive. Get that combined arms warfare, because if you look, it gives our arm armored a plus ten percent in co uh, combined arms, which is very nice. Okay, we can add another Orgel. We're gonna ta acquire the Salonica region, and then we'll completely annex them. Infra looking good, looking good. Okay, now that all five of them are done, we're gonna move them here. In the border area. And we're gonna put that to the fifth army. What's this? Light tank gun. Get more hard attack and soft attack. Piercing attack. So that little pocket of uh, Greek soldiers is going to be destroyed. Finland, uh, Finland uh, held on as long as they could, but couldn't hold on long enough. Greece, or uh, Italy, invade here. Because that's our final uh, victory point. Let's have a look at the Soviet Union's surrender progress, or not surrender progress, but national unity. 58.1%, that is really low. That's, I think, the lowest I've ever gotten it. So that's good news for us. Flying bomb, that's, that's ahead of time. Italy, come on, invade here, and then Greece will finally be our, finally be mine. Hold on a second.